Hi and welcome back to the channel. We're back with another episode of Dark. I'm so intrigued by this show. I'm so in and uh, next to no idea about what the hell is going on at the moment. So do you have any thoughts before we jump into the second episode or no, we just, just want to talk afterwards? Watch yeah. and then talk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give yeah. <laughs> me. Music. He just having terrible night nightmares each night or something. Yeah, he told he told his. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Therapist. <sighs> what? Why? Why is it black? No, oh, he's still <sighs> having a nightmare. Yeah. Ist männlich zwischen 10 und 12, Zeitpunkt des Todes vor etwa 16 Stunden. Diese Verbrennung an den Augen ist eigenartig, wie geschmolzen. Okay, goes further. That's not spooky at all. Aufklärung helfen können. Unterdessen organisieren Bürgervereine in Absprache mit den lokalen Behörden Suchaktionen. How is he enrolled? Yeah, I was thinking that as well. Like, why is he crying so much? Wo warst du letzte Nacht? Ich bin aufgewacht gegen Mitternacht. Du warst nicht da. Ich konnte nicht schlafen. Das Auto war auch weg. Die Schnur war alle. Ich musste kurz zur Tankstelle. Wie gleich gesagt, er findet das am schlimmsten. Wenn man nicht gefunden wird. Mikkel, komm zurück. Die Polizei wird bald hier sein. Die müssen heute noch verschwinden, Jürgen. Hast du was Erfolgreiche von erfolglosen Menschen unterscheidet? Also heute Nacht. Und du redest mit niemandem. Verstanden? Kann ich Ihnen behilflich sein? Ich brauche ein Zimmer. Well, at least she's got a customer now. Just auf den Beinen. Wir werden ihn finden. Vielleicht. Vielleicht auch nicht. Definitely something fishy about that guy. Not a lot of tombstones out there, huh? schwarzes Loch zu reisen und zu schauen, was dahinter liegt. Wie weit wird die Wissenschaft gehen? Lass mich den Hang absuchen. Lass mich euren Teil der Höhlen absuchen. Bitte. Das ist ein Hochsicherheitstag. Hier ist die fucking Police. Du Arschloch! Ah! 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 
So yeah, they're definitely hiding something down in those tunnels. Yep. Oh, throw that shit out, man. I won't be sweet here. It took me so light. Spooky place he's wandered into. I think that whole region is just spooky. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's a big fuck off shotgun. That's us fine. Ulrich! Wir haben das zusammen gemacht. Erik und ich. Hier und da was verkauft an der Schule. Wo ist mein Junge? Ich weiß es nicht, Jürgen. Ulrich doesn't even care about the drugs. No. Meinst du, sie werden ihn finden? Ich hoffe es. All the lights, all the cane lights. Yeah. Mikkel? Nee, Papa. Glaubst du, da war was, was er niemand von uns erzählen wollte? Hast du ihn geliebt? I think he, that is... He went back in time? He got out at the wrong time, yeah. Where are you? Wieso? Where are you? Mecke, I live here. Ulrich, and I live here. Oh, this is the... Okay, so I am uh, not like totally confused or anything, but there's a lot, a lot is going on. Um, there's a lot of people involved, um, a lot of like quick scenes with characters that we haven't spent too much time with yet, doing stuff that we don't really 
comprehend or know yet like what what they're doing but yeah so we got some answers but we also got like tenfolds of questions or something we got yeah more questions than answers that's for sure so um picking up from uh from yeah from last time um they're still looking for uh for Miko. they're still looking for uh Eric. um and uh, Ulrich is kind of losing his marbles a little bit, <sighs> which is very understandable because that must be just the most horrible thing to, yeah, experience, experience ever, especially for a, for a parent to lose their kid like that. Um, and don't and like just the fact that. They don't know what happened. They don't know where he is. They don't know if they're ever going to see him again. Or, like, there's no closure whatsoever. And the fact that he is not even in their time line, uh, time period now, is doesn't give a lot of hope to the idea that they're going to figure out what happened and they're going to get closure. So that's horrible. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's mainly a, an episode about, um, how the characters that we met in the first episode, how they're coping with what happened in the first episode and coping with whatever happened, what was it? 33 years ago. Um, and all the missing people. And so many questions and small tidbits of uh of secrets or whatever yeah yeah um, yeah both with uh, uh Ulrich's parents yes what uh, the hell is his dad up to because he's definitely doing something during the night um and something that required him to or he needed to wash some blood off of um what looked like a sweater of his or something yeah, and um, um, we also saw um, that Eric actually died. Yeah, it that definitely seems like um, a sure thing now that uh, whatever that person was doing with Eric in that room with the machine around his uh, his head that that ended up killing him. And um, probably the same thing that happened to uh, Mess, Ulrich's brother. So, if I had to like theorize about anything right now, it's that somewhere in this cave, there's some kind of entrance or bridge or whatever it was to wormhole, wormhole to, yeah, another timeline reality whatever and maybe in the cave or it's a kind of a world between worlds kind of thing where they are experimenting on people from different time periods or different times and because it seems like they're both like taking people or children teenagers from um present day and then back in what was it 1986 and they're kind of kidnapping people from different yeah time periods is uh it's what i got so far <laughs> but still a lot of questions and not that many answers so far at all besides that we know miguel survived um or well he's he is alive he's just it's not a question of just, where is he it's a question of when <laughs> yeah so we know the stranger from the start was Mikkel, and we know, uh, and then also something is going on at the power plant. We know that for sure. Um, and yeah, that that guy who who's in charge of the power plant or something, he's definitely doing some some shady shit. Um, getting rid of something and or getting something and having his people put it in a big truck uh, there in the forest not letting Ulrich into investigate like the his part of the 
caves um, or the part of the caves that are underneath the um, uh, yeah power plant yeah that yeah power plant that's what I was uh, the word I was looking for yeah I guess you could say that we are somewhat confused at this point like don't really know what to dive into or what events to highlight because we don't know how everything fits together yet at all um and i i dare not th theorize about where we're going or what's going to happen in the next episode or where all the plot lines are going because yeah it's um they do a really good job of, of uh, keeping us kind of in the shadows in and the keeping ha, 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 it in the ha, dark ha, ha. <laughs> yes um and and yeah just keeping us guessing yeah and i i don't want to guess on the plot and where it takes us i just want to watch it see yeah, what yeah, happens. yeah i don't want to theorize anything it's just i have a feeling this show is definitely going to surprise us along the way and um there's going to be a lot of stuff that we won't see coming at all especially if we refrain from theorizing too much and guessing and talking about it so uh do you have anything else to add to this episode Alrighty then as always thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you as soon as possible bye, bye.